doesn't break out right behind me. Good morning and welcome to the NASDAQ stock market. My name is Anu Sharma, Managing Director here at the NASDAQ OMX Group. I'm extremely delighted to welcome Electronic Arts and all the members from the Star Wars Group here to ring the opening bell at the NASDAQ market site. And now for further comments is our Executive Vice President, Bruce Aust. Good morning, everyone. We are extremely pleased to welcome Electronic Arts to NASDAQ this morning to ring today's opening bell. We're very honored to be joined by Frank Chaval, President of EA Labs Labels, Dr. Ray Muzika, General Manager of EA's BioWare Label and Co-Founder, and Dr. Greg Z Zeschek, Chuck, I'm sorry, General Manager of BioWare Austin and Co-Founder. We'd also like to send a warm welcome to all the store Star Wars characters that made a huge effort in traveling to the market site from a galaxy far, far away. We have a lot to celebrate, and first, let me congratulate EA on the release of the highly anticipated Star Wars, The Old Republic. Congratulations. <laughs> this video game is possibly the most highly anticipated video game of all time, one of the biggest video game projects ever. Even before its release, the game has already been honored with over 100 industry awards and accolades from game critics worldwide who play the game at trade events. The game is set thousands of years before the story depicted in the movies and allows the players to become a hero or a villain in the Star Wars universe. Developed by BioWare, a game studio that EA acquired in 2007, BioWare had worked with LucasArts on a game called Knights of the Old Republic that went on sale in 2003 to high critical claim, one of the most beloved Star Wars video games of all time. Early this year, when EA announced that the game was available for pre-order, even without a release date attached, the announcement became the largest story in most major and online print media. So today is a very exciting day for so many fans of EA and the Star Wars franchise. Today also marks another milestone. Electronic Arts will be trading this morning under the new symbol, ticker, ticker symbol, EA. NASDAQ is very proud to be able to offer two-letter symbols and excited that EA is now be able to trade under their symbol EA, the consumers, partners, and shareholders closely identify with the company and the brand. Here with us today is EA Studio President Frank Jabal, who oversees development of all EA games, sports, maxis, and bioware. Frank began at EA 20 years ago as a gifted game tester. He built his career on straddling the cultural divide between the creative and the business objectives in, in gaming. We're very honored to have him with us today. So now please join me in welcoming Frank Jabot to say a few words. Today is a very special day for Electronic Arts. It marks the ambitious launch of Star Wars The Old Republic and also a change in our NASDAQ ticker for the first time since we went public in 1991. We started our public life as ERTS and 320 million customers later, we're still going strong. From games like FIFA and Madden, The Sims to Battlefield, we entertain families and friends from all over the world in all age ranges in all countries. And we couldn't be more excited about the opportunity to begin a new life on NASDAQ as EA now. But today is also a very important day, and our investors would agree. Today marks the launch of Star Wars The Old Republic, the most ambitious game we've ever released in our 30-year history. This game is very special. It allows you to enter the Star Wars universe in ways that have never been seen before. And the creators behind this product, Dr. Ray Musica and Dr. Greg Zeschik, are here to join me today to give you a little bit more information about the game. Thank you. Thank you, Frank. It's an honor to be here today on what is truly a milestone day for Bioware and Electronic Arts. An enormous number of people put in countless hours to make this possible. You know, one of the biggest games ever created. We're extremely excited to be here to release it. And it's paid off. We officially went live last night at midnight, and the fan response around the world has been absolutely incredible. The game has truly immersed players into the Star Wars universe, capturing the magic that George Lucas created back in 1977. It's been truly humbling to see the response from the fans. I mean, people have been testing this game for months, almost years for some of them. And the actual fan response they're playing right now has been absolutely incredible. There's a ton of people playing the game as we speak, and we're really excited to be able to talk about it finally. So we'd like to thank a number of people here. First, our parent company, EA. Everyone knows this is an incredibly ambitious project. We've had a great amount of support from everyone across EA, from our top executives like John Ricatello and Frank Chabot, uh, to every other facet of the company. 
They put our trust, their trust in us and given us a great deal of creative freedom for which we're truly thankful. We've got a lot of also people to thank for this as well in terms of the people that worked on the game. We have studios in Austin, that's the central studio, but also Mythic in Virginia, Bioware Edmonton, and also uh, Bioware Galway in Ireland. And all these studios actually work together across the globe to make this game possible. We're very proud to be representing those teams here today. We also want to thank our amazing partners at LucasArts and LucasFilm, a few of, of whom are here with us today. They've been amazing partners over the years, giving us the freedom to carve our own stories within that beautiful universe, Star Wars. This game would not work without their collaboration and their enthusiasm for the project. And one of the groups that we really want to thank as well is, of course, our families. There's an enormous number of people backing up the people making this game, the families that make it possible. We want to thank all of them for supporting all of us in this very, very long and challenging endeavor. And finally, we want to thank our fans who have been patiently, and sometimes impatiently, waiting for this day for a long time. Your passion is unlike anything we've experienced in almost 20 years of making games. We're going to feed off it moving forward. And that's really the most exciting thing about today. It's the beginning of a journey. This is the first step. This isn't like a regular game where you release and forget about it. We are serving this game up for years to come with everyone's partners. Our commitment to you, our fans, is to treat this game as an ongoing premium service. One that's going to evolve and grow over the next few weeks, next, next few months, and next few years. So we want to thank everyone at EA, Bioware, and LucasArts for making this possible. May the force be with you. Guys, it's great to have you here and, it's, and to be part of this exciting game launch. So to commemorate today's opening bell, present you with the NASDAQ opening bell. So thanks for being here, guys. Congratulations so much. Thank you. Thank you.